but just as fundamental as any of these investments I've discussed is maybe the most fundamental, the right to vote, the right to vote. A lot of the members of the Black Caucus knew John Lewis better than I did, but I knew him. On his deathbed, like many of I called John to speak to him. Rev, all John wanted to do is talk about how I was doing. He died, I think, about uh, 25 hours later. But you know what John said? He called the right to vote precious, almost sacred. He said, the most powerful, nonviolent tool we have in a democratic society. This sacred right is under assault with incredible intensity like I've never seen, even though I got started as a public defender and a civil rights lawyer. With an intensity and an aggressiveness that we've not seen in a long, long time. It's simply un-American. It's not, however, s sadly, unprecedented. The creed, we shall overcome is a long-time mainstay of the civil rights movement, as Jesse Jackson can tell you better than anybody. The obstacle to, process, to progress that have to be overcome are a constant challenge. We saw it in the 60s, but with the current assault, is not just an echo of a distant history. In 2020, we faced a tireless assault on the right to vote. Restrictive laws, lawsuits, threats to, of intimidation, voter purges, and more. We resolved to overcome it all, and we did. More Americans voted in the last election than any, in the midst of a pandemic, than any election in American history. You got voters registered. You got voters to the polls. The rule of law held. Democracy prevailed. We overcame. But today, let me be unequivocal. I've been engaged in this work my whole career. And we're going to be ramping up our efforts to overcome again. I will have more to say about this at a later date, a truly unprecedented assault on our democracy, an effort to replace nonpartisan election administrators and to intimidate those charged with tallying and reporting the election results. But today, as for the act of voting itself, I urge voting rights groups in this country to begin to redouble their efforts now to register and educate voters. And in June, in June should be a month of action on Capitol Hill.